Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So right now we are log uh, not logged in and we cannot see that uh, log uh, create link. If I register here with a fake filler, we are logged in and now we can see this create link. When we click here, we navigate the post create and we can create a new post, okay? Good. If I log out, we cannot see that, but we can navigate uh, through the URL the slash create and yeah we can create a new post here okay but what we want is only the authenticated user to create a post and how we can protect that and one way is to open the controller so the post controller and here on the create we can check uh, if not authenticated so if the user is not authenticated and we have a check method and this is going to return true if the user is authenticated or false if that is not so if that is not true i'm going to abort 403 for example okay now if i save that and let's navigate we are not logged in as you can see and if i navigate the slash create yeah, we have a 403 or for example, we can say, let's say return to the route login to login the user. And if I refresh now, yeah, we return to the login page. Okay, so one more time, if I navigate the post key index, we don't see that link to create. And if I navigate manually here, we redirect to the login page. If I register, here we can navigate and create a post okay but for example if i want to apply the same thing the store we need to copy and paste this one so to repeat the code and the same thing for example if we want on the show edit or update or delete and so on and that's it's a uh, try so don't repeat yourself which is not good now let's use a middleware. So if I open the Laravel and inside the basics we have the middleware here. So the middleware provides a convenient mechanism for inspecting and filtering HTTP requests entering your application. For example, Laravel includes a middleware that verifies the user of your application is authenticated. If the user is not authenticated, the middleware will redirect the user to your application's login screen. And let's do that. Let's apply that middleware in the route. So I'm going to open the web routes. And for the post, we have a resource. So I'm going to apply to all the post routes. And I'm going to say middleware out, the name of the middleware. This is coming with Laravel. So if I save that and let's open now, post create we are logged in okay if i log out we redirect the login page if i navigate the post we redirect the login page of again okay so we cannot visit also the post index page because we have applied this middleware out on the resource of post route okay now let's say uh route and now I'm going to use the middleware directly here. Specify the name of the middleware, which is out. And here we use a group a function. And then here we can register the route. Instead of this dashboard, which is auto-completed for me, I'm going to say route colon colon get. And here it say slash post slash create. And I'm going to use the post controller class, the create method, and the name is going to be post create. Also for the post, for the edit. Okay, and for the delete. So I'm going to protect the post create, uh, post the post, the store post, a get for the edit to show the edit form. 
for the update in the post and for deleting the post. All the routes here is going to be protected by this middleware, which is the auth middleware. Then I'm going to remove this and I'm going to register a new route. So just let me do something like this, which is going to get the post. And here we have the index method and the name is post index. Now this route is not protected and also that let's add also the post show which is not protected so i'm not going to protect the the show single post and the show all posts if i save that and let's come here and refresh if i click the post now yeah we can visit all the posts we can read the post here yeah we need to hide the edit and delete because right now if i click edit yeah we need to redirect back to login because we are not logged in but just in case i show you we can visit the post and also a single post but if i want to edit and delete we redirect the login because we are not authenticated now also if i register here with a fake filler let's say register okay also here we are authenticated and we can also visit the register page which is not correct okay so i want to protect now this register and and also the post the login the get login and post login so only the unauthenticated user can visit them and how we can do that the same thing we have done here so let's register a new route i'm going to say a route using a middleware but now i'm going to use a guest middleware and yeah i have here a auto completion from my ai and here we have added a middleware guest which is the opposite of the out okay so only the unauthenticated user can visit the routes here uh, the routes here okay so the register a register here get login and post login i'm going to remove the logout and i'm going to move the logout also i'm going to remove all of the routes here with the cut i'm going to cut the logout and put inside this one so the logout is going to be protected and only the authenticated user can visit this now if i save that as you can see we edit the home page and if i click again manually to register yeah we're added it back also if i navigate the login we redirect at the home page good that is okay but what if i want to create a custom middleware so let's do that let's open the terminal and i'm going to open a new instance of the terminal and here i'm going to use the php artisan or art in my case make colon and I'm going to say middleware and for example I'm going to say can uh, view post middleware and yeah I forgot to add another D here and hit enter okay so the middleware created successfully inside the app STB middleware if I open here app HTTP, we have a middleware directory and here is the middleware. We have one function, the handle function, which accepts the request and the closure. So it's going to return the next request. Okay, right now this is not going to do much if we just create that. We need also to register this route. And where we can register this route? In Laravel 11, we need to go to bootstrap app.php. And here we can configure or application as we can see application we have a uh, with routing with middleware with exceptions so here we have with middleware we have a function passing the middleware dollar sign middleware and here we can say uh, dollar sign middleware and i'm going to specify for the this is going to be for the web and yeah here i have i'm going to add this can view post middleware okay now if i save that and just come here oh, yeah, nothing is going to happen so if i go to post uh, view post yeah nothing is going to happen but 
if I go to this uh, can view post middleware and just for example I'm going to say uh, die and dump here and yeah die and dump the request user save refresh yeah as you can see we have a die and dump here and not because we are on this uh, post view but also if I refresh on on the post we have also this die and dump also if I go back the home page refresh so this is going to be applied on every request okay now let's go to app php and in instead of something like this i'm going to say also you can read more here in the on the documentation so middleware aliases we can say middleware alias and give it the name of your middleware so i'm going to do that so let's say alias and here we need to add an array and the first one is going to be the name which i'm going to say uh can view post and the middleware is can view post also we need to import that now if I save that and let's come here and refresh nothing happened go to post nothing happened go to simple post nothing happened because we need now to apply this middleware inside the route so i'm going to copy that go to web routes and for example on the on the show post i'm going to apply that middleware so i'm going to say here middleware and the name of the middleware is can view post i'm going to close that and if i save this as you can see we have a die and dump if i go back to post nothing happened go to home nothing go to post now if i click the create nothing but when we go to post show we have this die and dump okay but we don't want to add a die and dump what we want is to, if the user can see the post and for now i'm going to say if out check so if the user is authenticated, I'm going to say uh, return the next request. Otherwise, I'm going to say return and redirect the, the route login. If I save that and refresh now, yeah, we can see that post because we are logged in. If I log out, click here we redirect the login page okay so if i register now and click here yeah now we can see that page because we are logged in okay friends this is how we can uh, create or custom middleware how we can register or how we can create an alias and then we can use on the routes so to apply to any route we want so that's it all about this video friends what i wanted to show you now don't forget if you like such a videos subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much